This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. It is the Indie Mayhem Show on Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in uh, Pittsburgh, PA. We got a crew in here today. You can probably already hear them there in the background. That's but, us. Yeah, that's them. But first, please go check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, IndieWrestling.us for this show. And um, you can see our guests definitely from tonight and from many of our Indie Mayhem shows featured over there. Uh, as part of, uh, well, tonight, the International Wrestling Cartel is uh, well represented. Uh, but look up any of these names. You'll find a lot of matches and a lot of history. I think I dug up some of one of ours uh, recently from another promotion. But uh, hey yeah. hey I, I saw that. But with us is Team Storm. Oh! The entire the entire Team Storm. They brought all the gold. They brought all the awards with them. Uh, there's 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 a lot of hardware. Usually, usually the Jackson. We have Jackson Argos with us. That's me. I'm I'm the guy that's named Jackson Argus. That's me. That's right. Thank one you. half of the uh, remix and the IWC Tag Team Champions. And also, come on, two time Rookie of the Year. So, right. you. so proud yeah. of you. I'm very proud. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Never done before. Thank you. Also, Moving on. Who else also do we have? Also with us going down the couch, we have Jack Pollock, the IWC Heavyweight Champion. What? what? Recently yeah. won. Yep. Wait, Sword, can I get a and new? And new. Yes. Thank, thank you, you, thank so you, thank proud. you. So proud. The man who beat the man with war in his name. Oh, jeez. And you know what? You're the man with lock in his name because you're always a lock to win. Get it? You're Paul Lock. You're Paul. S- clever. <laughs> Tell you're, me I'm clever. You're so clever. You're so clever. <laughs> Wow. And then also with us, R.C. Dupree, the co-hoarder of the IWC oh. and the Remix. Stop Tag playing footsie with me, R.C. Bonjour, je m'appelle one half of the Remix Pro and IWC hey, Tag French. Team French. Champions, the essential artist. I took Spanish in high school. Well, I'm French and Japanese, my friends. So. Teach us French sometime. That could be the show. Sorg, thank you so much for that wonderful introduction. Thank you. Uh, so, so The best. So you guys, I, we've had you all on the show. We kind of got your backstory and everything. Uh, but just a, a small review for people that, if it's their first time here. All three of you, hence the name, you're all graduates of the uh, Lance Storm Training Academy up there in uh, Canada. Where? Where is it? In Where? Calgary. Calgary. Alberta. 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 Canada. Canada. Thank you. Yes. Jeez. Unbelievable. Hot yeah. cheese. Yeah. I mean, we're going to introduce you know, us and then tell everybody where we're from, at least I mean, get it right. Yeah. Hey, by the way, while we're doing this, I'm get, this is going to be hilarious. I'm going to share the link to this onto the IWC group page. So hopefully Justin Plummer <laughs> has to watch all of us with all of his gold. <laughs> <laughs> Classic plumber. Uh, what a oh. what a mook. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, you guys, uh, stop I, it. I say <laughs> they're playing footsie there. Oh, fantastic. You guys on audio. Uh, but anyways, so so this is kind of a, a this is kind of the arrival of Team Storm here. You guys um, all winning gold at the last IWC show. Um, just under uh, two years in the promotion as a as a group. Um, you know, how's it feel? I, I think it feels a little long overdue. I mean, I we agree. We had to wait almost two years even to get a chance at the IWC Tag Team Championships. And then and Mr. Pollock here, I mean, goodness gracious, should have been a champion day one in the company, in my opinion. I, I walked into the company and I thought I should be the champion of this company. Yeah. The best wrestler in Pittsburgh, bar none. And it took a while, but I, I got there. Yeah, I mean, we went through some hardships. Yeah, so. some ups, some downs, mm-hmm. some peaks, some valleys. But eventually, I mean, like, look at what we got. Look at us now. You guys if, look so good. If I'm not mistaken, Argos, uh, weren't we supposed to get tag team title shots repeatedly, but then somehow something mm-hmm. happened to where we didn't get them? Yeah, every single time that we were supposed to get, you know, an <sighs> opportunity got taken away. And then every time Jack Pollock had an opportunity, something happened. I mean, let's be let's be honest here. Look at us. We are we're actually like the Canadian dream, if you think about it. We are a true Canadian success story. You know what I mean? Like I agree. I think everyone yeah. in Canada watched what we did 
and said, wow, I want to grow up to be just like Team Storm. A uh, nation yeah. was watching at Cage yeah, Fury. Absolutely. With bated breath. And watch you guys mm -hmm. beat Chris LaRusso mm -hmm. in Balk Nasty. Yeah. And then watch yes. me beat Wardlow. Mm -hmm. And they said, wow. Yeah. We can strive to be the best. All the way to the top. Oh. Hashtag Paul like Argos Dupree. Oh, I like that. Oh, is that, was that trending? If you do so, um, Pollock Dupree Argos, it could be hashtag PDA because PDA. we all love each other. <laughs> <laughs> you got public display uh, of a yeah, yeah. And stuff. Um, to sum up everything we've just said, Sorg, we are really awesome at professional wrestling. Thank you very much. <laughs> Wait, what are we talking about? How awesome we are. We are. We are. We are awesome. Well, on that, uh, Jack, you know, oh, no, we had a discussion about uh, your kind of long, long traveled, your long road to get to IWC here. Um, mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and a, the really vicious uh, pictures of your back, both you and Wardlow after the show. Um, that cage is not safe. <laughs> uh, no. No, it's not. I was worried about you, Jack. We were all worried. I was worried about me, too. Yeah. Thank you, RC. We were worried, but we never doubted. No, I, I mean, like, uh, Jack Pollock is willing to die for Team Storm and willing to die to be considered the best wrestler in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Uh, and I will put my body on the line every day of the week, every night that I'm out there in front of the fans. Why? I don't know. Uh, eat a plumber. I'm your champion now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Look at this plumber. I'm your champion now. It's fantastic. <laughs> Probably the greatest trio of champions, dare I say, I don't know, IWC and Remix have ever seen. Like mm. ooh, hold mm. on, I don't mean to bring up a sore subject because we've mm. got we've got some game planning to do. Yeah. We have yeah. September fifteenth. Yeah. yeah. September fifteenth, we're gonna be in Marietta, Ohio, and we are going to get the sixth championship. Back yeah. in Team Storm. How, how about how about this? I'll do the segue since you know I like to do segues. Jack, how are we going to accomplish that in Marietta, Ohio, at Remix Pro Wrestling? Argos. So listen. So my second match ever at Remix mm -hmm. Pro Wrestling. Mm -hmm. I pinned then heavyweight champion Ron Mathis. Oh, for the Riot Champion. Jack fact for you. Jack fact. And then I went on to beat Facade, a former Remix Heavyweight Champion. Right. And then I went on to beat Marion Fontaine yeah. for the Remix title. Okay. And Jack Pollock's never been pinned for the Remix Heavyweight Championship. I lost it in a ladder match. A match that I never agreed upon. No, he didn't. But Remix Management decided, oh, let's screw Jack Pollock. Cool. Whatever. Uh, typical. Typical. typical remix. We're trying to hold us down. Come September 15th, okay. Jack Pollock four way remix riot title match. Yeah. I'm getting back with mine. We know. Yeah. We're going to yeah. be there. Um, it hey, feels like, I'm sorry, it feels like no, the entire ahead. story of Team Storm has been, has been people trying to hold us down. Yeah. Why? It, well, here, here's. And hold point. us down, you will not. No. Because here's the interesting thing I will segue off of that, RC. How about you tell them our entire history with Remix? All our entire long history with Remix. Would you, would you mind sharing with everyone what we've done all, in all of our time at Remix? Well, we came into Remix and uh, we won your tag team titles. In our first match! <laughs> <laughs> You're so eccentric. Thank you. He really is. He really is. Uh, so yeah, I guess you could say again, if I may summarize what we've just discussed here, the Team Storm takeover isn't over. We're not done yet. No, not at not all. Not whatsoever. Not at all. So I would say buy your tickets now, Marietta, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot. I had a big, super exciting announcement to tell you guys. Hold on. I got to get the details out I here. Get the details. Yes. Yes. Tell me what's going on, guys, Argos. Listen to yeah. this. The day, ah. the day before Remix. Uh huh. Okay. Now okay. you all know that recently, and I'll tell everyone else who's listening who I mean in a minute. We've somewhat taken on a life coach a little bit outside of wrestling in our personal lives. He, he's my hero. Right. My idol. So I talked to this guy earlier today, and I found out that next Friday mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on Z one hundred six point one in Parkersburg, West Virginia. Myself. That's a big radio station. Big radio station. Myself and 
our life coach, Jock Sampson. The life the coach. Jock Sampson. We will be the running. Goat. The goat. The goat. Thank you. <laughs> we will be with Mike Cameron on the radio for the Jock Sampson hour. That is a fact. So the night before remix, you got to tune in. We're I'm, we're gonna talk about everybody, and more importantly, I'm gonna spend the day because I've been a little stressed lately, and I think I need some more guidance. That's the main reason I'm spending the day with Jock. So yeah, I wanted you guys to know that I'll be saying great things about you. And if you have any requests, any songs you guys would like to hear, I love music. Jock and I will be DJing music. Mm, so interesting. It kind of works out. That so you like. so what? Just a little preview. Like, what kind sure. of music would you be selecting if you had a program your own here's hour. the thing jock and i haven't got we're gonna make a playlist together okay so i have my suggestions he has his suggestions i have a little bit of rush and some celine dion he has everything you can imagine jock would listen to right Let, let's classic jock. classic rock classic jock i mean it makes sense right makes he sense. gets it he right knows. so so yeah i i, I don't want to spoil it i really think people should just listen to see what i'm gonna play and what jock's gonna play and it's going to be fantastic. And it's going to really set the tone for Remix the next day. I want to ask you about this because I, I've been seeing a little bit about this. Uh, tell me about Jock Sampson as a life coach. I haven't heard about him uh, venturing into this, this new um, realm. Excuse me? What? Let's, I'll paraphrase a little bit the relationship that we have with Jock outside of the ring. Jock was a guy who initially was not a big fan of Team Storm. He had a lot of American pride. And, um, mm. you know, I and think... we felt it. We did. We, we did. felt the American pride. But I think Jock felt the mismanagement of IWC. And as we see currently, he's finally handling some of our previous dirty business with Mr. Andrew Palace. And I think that it's Ugh. finally caught up to Jock that management holding us down also tried to hold him down. So it's really just... It's a, it's a blossoming friendship. I mean, it's... And, and as, as a... In a amazing veteran a guy who's been in the business for how long jock is a guy that we can learn from so we keep in touch you know i love you jock love everything so so, so it's kind of like uh he's kind of like the unofficial uh fourth member of team storm it sounds like well we listen listen it's it, more, it, it, it's more. he's he's like the jj Dillon yeah. of team storm that's a good uh he's the guy who's controlling and he understands Team Storm. Sure, he sure. knows what we want. He knows what we need. Sure. Jock Sampson will take us to bigger and better things. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Jock Goat. Goat. Absolutely. Hashtag Goat. Hashtag, Hashtag goat. goat. For sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Other than that, uh, you, I, I wasn't. I wasn't done with you there, Jack. Uh. You. You. You seem to be um taking on. Vicious matches here. Yeah. Like, not only did you have a cage match with Wardlow, which was devastating, mm -hmm. but you also had, you also had a big, um, oh, you had a big you. street thank fight you. with the promoter of IWC. I beat him, right? Yeah. I, yeah. You did win. You yep. did yeah. win. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah. I beat his ass, right? Uh, there were tacks. There were tables. There were the, the all kinds of equipment. Yeah. 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 But I won, right? You did win. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, so I mean, it, it, it's it's you've been uh, you know having some classic matches uh, down the road in Rise Wrestling earlier this year. It's Rise mm -hmm. with a Y, uh, mm -hmm. and and uh, seeing you know the same around uh, IWC. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's been kind of a different side of you we've seen the last few months. You know what, uh, Jack Pollock isn't afraid to get hardcore when Jack Pollock needs to get hardcore. Uh, when the time is needed. I will fight the fight. And when Team Storm needs Jack Pollock to stand up and fight for Team Storm, Jack Pollock does that. Screw Justin Plummer. Screw IWC. Everything that they didn't want, we got. You got to deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come Proving Ground, you're getting ready for the, what is it now? The Celebration Court? The Team Storm Championship Celebration Coronation mm -hmm. Extravaganza mm -hmm. Bonanza Ceremony. Thank you. That sounds amazing. It's the greatest. It's the greatest thing I've ever come up with. And you know what? What we earned every yeah. bit. Who wouldn't of that. want to come to the Team Storm Championship Extravaganza Bonanza Coronation Ceremony? Ceremony. I can't. I'm so excited. I can't even say it tonight. I'm, Hashtag. I'm embarrassed. Exquisite. Ooh, I like that. Wow, that's nice. RC. RC, you are just. You're a wordsmith, is what you are. Woof. 
So what what are, what are you planning? Can you give us? I mean, you're not going to tell us all the all the details, I'm sure. Uh, but uh, you know what what are you planning in general? What, what's your little? Tell them. What are you planning for this? this I think it time? might be time. We've been promising surprises yes. left and right. Okay. We're trying to draw fans yes. in. We we do have. We're not going to tell you a lot of what's going on tonight because, I mean, why would we tell you everything? you got to come and find out. But yeah, sure. we did say earlier tonight, we all agreed that tonight would be the night we make this announcement. And and I, I sent some photographs to Mr. Sorg okay, earlier. See, I think I have these up here. Well, you yes. better have them up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 here yeah. it is. The drum roll. <laughs> at the Team Storm Championship Extravaganza Bonanza Celebration Coronation Ceremony at Proving Ground, we are debuting new t-shirts. Oh, oh. Hello. hello, 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 hello. Sorg, do we have those up on it's the screen? Right up there right Look now. at how beautiful these new t-shirts. Oh my god. Do we have every title in IWC? We've got the titles. Looks we've like got it. the trophies. We've got the gold. Looks like it's it. good. Look at all my there we are. We're up on the screen there. Oh my that we I don't normally it. like to look at pictures of myself, but when it's me with you two studs next to me, <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. I went to the gym earlier. Thank I you. noticed. I really Thank did. You. I noticed. You're so kind. Yes. So yes, we will have t-shirts available. They will be at Proving Ground. So I mean, if that doesn't bring you into the building, I don't know what does. I mean, we have a party. We've got new t-shirts. Mm -hmm. You get to mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. Team Storm celebrating. I, come on, man. Limited edition. Limited edition. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very mark market right yes. now. There's very all, a very few amount yes. of t-shirts available. Yes. Buy them now. These are going to be very limited. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You've got to you've got to be there. I mean, you've got to be at our extravaganza bonanza celebration coronation ceremony. I mean, Ooh, who wow. wouldn't want to be there? You say that so fast. I've been working on it. But yeah, I think that uh I think now is the right time to do that to finally provide the public with let the world know garbs yeah. to wear. Uh -huh. oh. So we do have some questions in the chat room if you're ready to field some. Oh, gee. Oh. <laughs> oh, Here we go. We have a Justin in the chat room. Not that one. Not Plummer. Uh, what do you guys have to Dumb say about uh, the main event claiming that you did not beat them? <laughs> so, wait. What do we have to say wait, about wait. the main event claiming that we didn't beat them? I'm sorry. Was did the you win? I think we... W wait. Hold on. Let me check my right shoulder. Yeah, we won. RC, check your right shoulder. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I tied Duke Davis on the rope. Which was technically a legal enough. move. Technically legal. Well, what a mook. That was genius, by the way. I was so proud of that. Yeah, I that. gotta admit, that was impressive. That was so Thank eccentric you. of you. I looked I've up been working really hard. I was <laughs> convinced when you jumped off my back, you were both going out of the ring. And when I looked up and saw mm -hmm. you wrapped around him in the rope, I literally screamed out, yes! Because I knew what you were doing, we were on the same page, and then and then Chris Larusso tries to kick my face off, and I caught his foot. Ugh. So none of that worked. So I guess, oh yeah, I guess I I'm, hate Chris Larusso. I'm the not, worst. Not touching that subject. But the the original question we're we're discussing the main event. Mm -hmm. What what's there to discuss? I, I'm pretty sure this is a great uh, roundabout uh, fact for you. The main event were tag team champions and do you know who their very first title defense was supposed to be against That's right you guys it was us and that match never happened so as far as i'm concerned we've tried to step up to the plate for a two-on-two -two match i think on several occasions so i don't really need these complaints about us in the main event because we are moving on and we're going to continue to defend these championships and remain the what RC? The IWC mm -hmm. world tag team mm -hmm. champions. Mm -hmm. Next question. Mr. Song. Tony F wants to know what kind of shoes is the champ wearing? Cause he had them up there. They were, they were uh, thanks Tony F. Good. Three champs. Well, no, no, no. T Tony F, longtime IWC oh, interesting. Uh, filmographer. Okay, good, good. Well, pre Sorg, by the way. Pre Sorg. Uh, these are some uh, Converse weapons. Uh, oh. Ouch. Uh, interesting. Uh, that I bought on eBay. I do all my shopping on eBay, Tony F. Uh, I can't deal with the public. Oh, I uh, can't blame. Speaking uh, of the public, we're at 34, 36. 
I can't deal with these. Eat it, people. Sorg. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting stressed out. I yeah, have an anxiety. Sorg. It's a new oh. record. I love your shoes, Jack. Thank you. You're welcome. I almost didn't wear them tonight. Why? I don't know. Why? Like no shoes at all? I thought about it for a second. What are you, Jeff Cobb? <laughs> Hello. Jeez. Classic Cobb. Right. What, what else you got for us? So again, uh, Justin, on other Justin uh, says RC Dupree shoe game is also on point tonight. Aww, those are some yeah. fancy shoes. Look at those. They got a buckle on them and thank everything. You, thank you. Mm. That's pretty nice. Mm. Oh, jeez. I'm wearing the controversial As an eccentric 90s. artist, I try to dress in stylish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shoes Argos, I think your shoes are perfect. Thank you. I, I got a lot I of don't. stairs I don't. I feel today. like they're very controversial. Uh, Colin says uh, they saw you guys uh, the first, first time at last year's Cage Fury, and now uh, this year you guys got to take it over. <laughs> I'm happy for him. Thanks, Colin. I'm glad you showed up to Cage Fury last year and Cage Fury this year. Colin, fun fact. My very first IWC show was Cage Fury 2016. That was not my first IWC show. I walked through the door (laughs) and I stood and watched. Fun fact. You're just the guy in the crowd. Well, I just got back from Calgary and I said, what's going on in this building? And I walked in. Yeah, you said uh, IW what? I, I had heard. But I was excited to be there. And now and, you're a champ, my friend. And now, yeah. yeah, yeah, I walked in. I looked. I took one look at the company, and I said, "This is where I want to be." Mm-hmm. Because as much as we rag on IWC, you know, because we like to, you know, take it over, and we don't we hate Justin Plummer. Ugh. We knew. We all three knew day one, like this was the place to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now mm-hmm. here we are on top of it. So I mean, our path of destruction goes without saying. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. It goes without saying. I don't need to. That should be the name. Oh, I just got a great idea. It, Sorg, I just had the best idea I've ever had. Guys, why don't we make the best of Team Storm DVD? <gasps> that sounds like a Sorgatron Media production. I want to know right now in the comment section, would people would people purchase a best of Team Storm I would. DVD? I would. I would. I would, I would get my mom one for Christmas. I would get hashtag your, best. Of I Team will Storm. get your mom one for Christmas. Too. I'll get your mom one for Christmas. My mom would love that. RC, we'll get one for your mom and your dad. Oh, thank you. Dad gift. Thank you. <laughs> I know. Thanks, guys. There's yeah. uh, there's some more questions in here. Sure. Um, from uh, first Justin. Uh, he's asking... Um, Why so many Justins? Yeah, I hate that There's name. at least two of them in here, maybe three of them. I'm sure the other one's probably out there watching, too. Why aren't you reading this one that says, we want Jackson Argos in the Super Indie Tournament next year. Most underrated Ooh. man in IWC. Ooh. Why don't you read Whoa. that one, you jerk? That Damn. one is from Eli. Put me in. That one just came across here. Yeah. yeah. Wait, How why are you that? reading this? It's, it's on the chat. It's it was by uh, an Eli Batanzi. Yes. Nah, I don't. I don't. I don't trust it. Eli. I want in Super Indie. Mm. I'm gonna win it. Uh, but Justin is saying, what company will you guys be winning championships in next tag or singles? Well, besides, mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the question and say besides Remix because we've already covered that. Mm. Uh, it won't be WCW. Oh my God! If we were in WCW right now, we've, thought, uh. we've talked about <laughs> it. Oh my. Um, <sighs> we were really, we pretty much uh, for a lack of a, a better pun, wherever the storm winds blow us, that's kind of where we land. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've reached out to several companies. Yeah. Uh, I would love to take over the Monster Factory. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We've been there before. I mean, last time we were there, we did win. We did. So. We won on our way out of the Monster Factory. Before. I was in the Monster Cup Finals. Exactly. Well, I got. I should have. Danny won. Cage, what's up? You don't want the red and black attack? <laughs> just saying. And also, I've seen you guys just in uh, Premier Championship Wrestling. Oh, we're taking over Premier Championship Wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got that. Uh, did you see what we did to uh, mm. Alex Daniels? Alex Daniels retired from wrestling now after I kicked him in the face. Yeah. yeah. So hard. Probably mm. your best match, by the way. Not only did you do you. that, you beat him up backstage, too. Well, screw Because you're a genuine, you're, you're genu- uh, genuine man. Uh, you got it, Jack. You are a genuinely good man, and you're generous yeah. with things that you do. See, Jack, uh, Argus knows what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm I so hyped you. right now, Sorg. I can tell I you're excited. I get it. I get it. I get it. You know, you know what company we haven't also taken over we haven't touched on yet is we've been taking over Erie, Pennsylvania. Or, oh, Revenge. We have been taking over Revenge. Revenge. Hey, I know I've that been, word. I've been yeah. hearing good things about Revenge Pro. I mean... 
of course, because we've been there, so yeah. we're associated. And we're kind of a big deal. There's a word Sorg. that comes with that team storm when you talk about revenge, and it's uh, undefeated. Yeah, we are undefeated in Revenge Pro Wrestling. Haven't they only had one show? And we're one and well, we're Okay, big, we're a big contradiction. I mean, the, 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 the math works. The math yeah. works. I'll one give it to you. and oh, one and oh means undefeated. undefeated. Yeah. And we are soon. You know, did you? I don't know if you guys caught the Facebook announcement earlier. Mm-hmm. They posted uh, Sadie Gang. We have to defend our remix uh, tag titles the when night we be- win. Well, I mean, we're going to beat them. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 we have yeah, to yeah. defend them yeah, on yeah, Friday. Yeah, yeah. And then after we win Friday, again on Saturday. Like, what, what is that? And, and, and Sadie Gang's the new team of, um, of uh, Colby Red and uh, 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 Mr. De Niro. Who? Colby Red and Darren De Niro. Oh, those two. Yeah, we're. We've been in the ring with all of them. We're going to be fine. Ugh. We are going to be Ugh. fine. We're going to retain God. our championships. Team Storm's going to keep mm-hmm. all the metal on our shoulders. And but yeah, to answer your question from the chat, uh, that's that's another company we're taking over. There you go. We're always out for revenge. Darren De Niro. Yeah, jeez, it's more like Darren Chump Change. Am I right? I get it. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. Oh, One for right. Argos from another Justin. Sure. Ugh, another job. For some reason. Jeez. Since Gresham was injured before you guys had your submission match, do you think he's going to get another shot at you later down the line? Uh, first of all, I appreciate the wording. Is he going to get another shot at me? No. <laughs> first of all, thank you. Hey, That's great sentence structure. You beat him. Uh, you know, I'm sure that he and I are destined to have our paths cross again at some point. As for right now, I'm focused on keeping the tag team titles on myself and RC Dupree. And but you know, would Thank actually you, it would actually be nice if we added more championships to Team Storm. Because right. he, yeah, he he got kind of lucky and won the Super Indie Championship. But uh, no, I, I am someone who I thoroughly enjoyed my time smashing Gresham's face in. And if that ever comes back around, I would love nothing more than to do it again. You know what we haven't seen is a tag team that had like Ultimo Dragon style multiple championships being carried around. Hmm. We've got multiple championships. Are you saying well, that we, we should win more championships? So you should win more championships. I, I'm not going to argue against that. Kayla, Kayla asks, why is Team Storm so perfect? Or as... Uh, Are you saying that we're the perfect storm? Uh, you, there Hey-o. you go. Hey, segue. Hey. Wow, that's a hard question. RC, why do you think we're so perfect? I mean, it goes without saying again. That's, that's a good point. I think it's just the way that God made us. What are those two oh. things you have in your hand, Argus? It's PGRC. Huh? Oh, my trophies. <laughs> what are those two things you have on your shoulders? Huh? Those are championships. Yeah, what's this you have on your shoulder, Jack? Oh, jeez. It's the world He's getting right title. Hey, RC, what's this you have on your shoulders? He's answering. Oh, it's two question. titles. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm. You're so perfect, Ooh, RC. What's so going to you, RC? So Bobby F. J. Town wants to know uh, how about RC and Super Indy after that match with Wardlow? I mean, I'll, I would definitely accept the challenge. Any challenge, I will accept. And if I'm in Super Indie with Jackson Argos, then we would steal the show. It would be a very competitive... Just the table on everybody. Yeah. Wow. You would have two Super Indie winners because you wouldn't have a winner. I want to be in Super Indie too, guys. Team Storm. Team Storm. Team. Wait, we could be like triple threat Super Indie winners. Oh my goodness. We would all share We could one share title. the title. <gasps> yes. Well, I will say, if I can be serious for a minute... <laughs> I hate to steal that. This guy. I 100% have the Super Indie Championship in my future plans. Yeah. 100%. Whether it's sharing it with the three of you, I don't care if it's 2018, 2019, 2020, I don't care if it's 2050. I will be Super Indie Champion one day. Wow. And that's about as serious as I'm going to get tonight. Stop so. being so serious. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, so just, I'm still pretty damn bitter about what happened at Super Indie this year. I so. am not happy about it. I thought you sh- should have won. I yeah. thought you could have won. If I didn't have a bum shoulder going into it, we probably would have had a different result. How is your shoulder? My shoulder's a lot better. I've been Good. wearing a brace. Good. Thank you, by the way. Good. So. Screw John Let's talk about more. Yeah, thank you. Thank uh, you. BC Steel is in the chat room, guys. Yes. Yes. Uh, manager extraordinaire. Uh, BC, long time no love see. And BC. I understand a good dancer. Uh, mm-hmm. Team Storm, big fans. Have Thank any you. of you thought about running for Prime Minister of Canada? I believe Justin Trudeau's time has come to an end. Rumor has it that he hates Landstorm too. 
what? Why? Where did that rumor me? start? I don't know who started that rumor, but they better. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. We're on the same page. I would love for any of us to run for a government office. I mean, oh, I have a question. That I'll ask all three of us. If, if any of us were appointed uh, to a government office position, what would be your first act to give back toward the community? Because mine would be uh, uh, erecting giant um, statues of Team Storm with, you know, like a water fountain around us. That would be mine. What about you guys? That is so nice of you. I think the people would love it. Um, if I was elected to office, what would I do? Hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. I would obviously make a day for Team Storm. Oh, Team Storm Day. Yeah, Team Storm Day. Like extend the week to eight days? So you go a three-day weekend? You go to Tim Hortons. Okay. You get a coffee. Okay. On the house. Sure. For Team Storm. That's great. Yeah. This is brilliant. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then uh -huh. everyone greets each other uh -huh. as, oh, Team Storm. Yeah. That and would be the hello for the day. They miss their high five. Ooh, yeah, we got to work on that. Classic Team Storm. RC, what about you? What would you do? I would bring back the tag team of Chronic. <laughs> that's what I would do. How? I don't know. I would do that, though, because I'm an eccentric artist. I don't, yeah, I don't think that's going to, okay. You're um, so that is giving back to the public. Eccentric. I mean, I don't mind being the Brian Adams. I have the hair, so that's fair. I could do it. I have the sideburns. I could do it. I think the public would enjoy that. Thank you. That's what I would do. He loves chronic. Marcus Mann's in the chat room. Oh, oh boy! Hot oh, cheese. Here we go. When are JP Goulet and Drew Ballinger joining? Oh my mm. God! Oh, Jack, if they had that, the guts. To join Team Storm. To go through the grueling test that I would put them through to be members of Team Storm. Wait, wait, wait. So what, what is the application process to become part of? Because like, I, I mean, we saw an application floating around the internet to become a member of uh, the main event with Gannon Jones. Uh, Stop what, what bringing would, up the main event. Yeah, what, I, I this is our I, time. Uh, no, so, sorry, so, I didn't see that. So what, what are you talking what about? Would your, what would your application look like? Mm. Well, first of all, are you a uh, Lance Storm Academy graduate? Hello. Hello. Um, can you, you know, drive a car? Because we like to be courted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm, a big deal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, dress code's a big thing for us. We, we, you we, have to be a sharp dressed man. Yes. Or woman. Yes. I don't know. We've we've actually been looking at um, Taya and Chelsea Green's applications for quite mm -hmm. a while now. We've been highly concerned. It's just schedules have been tough. Uh, I don't know if they're ready for I don't know. I don't the know. rolling the, schedule that Team Storm yes. is going through right the now. The lifestyle that we live would mm. be, oh, it's mm. tough. Uh, I, that's It's very personal because the other thing is too is if we have a lot of secrets that come with our application and if we tell everybody what we look for. Well, like, hands then the, 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 like handshakes and stuff? Kind of, but I'm saying don't more like, about the handshakes. Yeah, or we're personality based. And if we start telling people what we look for, they'll change their personality. So, you know, just leave that to us. There's no written main event, written application form. Blah, 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 blah. blah. When it's time, we will pick a new member if. to join. Uh, Tom in the chat room is saying Mambo Italiano, junior, junior member of Team Storm. I love Mambo Italiano, first of all. I do love it. I, do, I like spaghetti. It's fine. I like spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, I'll, I'll be the first one to say it. I hate to always speak for all of us, but I know we all agree on this. Mambo doesn't need Team Storm. I don't think he does. Mambo is a champion. He's huge. In He's other big... companies, yeah. Mambo is making uh, splashes everywhere yeah. he goes. Mm -hmm. Big fan of Mambo Italiano. Do I dare say that Mambo is bigger than what we're doing right now? Mambo's God. Ooh. Oh, Mambo is... Wow. He's something. Mambo, Mambo should be on the cover of GQ. Oh! <laughs> I'm not disagreeing with that. Well, that By the way, fair. I do want to say thank you. I actually attended Little Italy Days, so Mambo Italiano, thank you for putting that on for Pittsburgh. Mambo, you're a saint. I assume you had a lot to do with that, so we just wanted to say thank you. Mm -hmm. I got a s'mores crepe while I was there. Mm, that's Italian. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mambo, I did not attend, but I'm sure it was great. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, also had a cannoli. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, Eli says, yes, you need a good female to beat Britt Baker if she ever shows up. Who? 
Yeah, I don't know. Never heard of her. Um, I hear she might be all in. Uh, anyways, Bobby of J Town says I just want. She he just wants to know that the end of the tag team championship match at Cage Fury was one of the smartest, coolest finishes he's ever seen. Well, uh, I couldn't uh, couldn't agree more. How how did you come up with that uh, move? Tying up TME to the ropes uh, while Jackson. You're so smart, RC. Tell us how you. That's came an RC that. thing. Like, well, how does how does that come across? I in like I, we mentioned earlier. I had no clue that's what he was going to do. But RC, take what went through your head. I got down on all fours. I thought you were just going to go for a cross body to take him out of the ring. What went through your head? Well, Jackson argues sometimes I like to uh, throw the pin of the grenade and just hope that we don't blow up. That's mm-hmm. fair. And whenever I tied Duke up, I was thinking. Hopefully, Argus is getting a pin right now. Oh, yeah. Or else... And he was. By the that... way, thank you for trusting me. Yeah. Like, you, you hooked him, and you had him tied up in the ropes, and I could, like, feel you saying through your head, I trust that you can get this done. If you realize, I didn't say, pin him, Argus, pin him, because I, I was confident. I know. And I really appreciate it. I was that. confident. It really meant a lot to me that you did that. I don't mean I don't want to start crying on the podcast, but it was like as you beautiful. better stop it. If you, right now, if you so cry, emotional. he's gonna cry, and then I'm gonna it's cry. Like throwing up. If one person <laughs> throws up, then everyone starts throwing. Um, up. don't no, stop it. No, no, it really meant a I lot because I, I have trust issues, and he trusted me. <laughs> hmm. Trusted I mean, me so much. Jackson stop. Argus, more like Jackson's the one that got the pin. This <laughs> is so damn good. I turned them to three. <laughs> No, There's a reason why you're a two-time rookie of the year, Argos. Uh, you guys are the best. We all did it. I love you, Jack. <laughs> I have so many trust issues. Why'd you do this to a Sorg? <laughs> Why'd you do this? Is this what you wanted? <laughs> Is this what you wanted? Huh? <laughs> you threw the pen, and guess what? It blew up, Sorg. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love Team Storm oh, so much. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, 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 why are we so good? I don't, I don't know. All right, uh, I'll, I'll bring it around. I know emotions yeah. are, are very <sighs> high right now. Um, oh my god! Uh, bring it back around. Bring <sighs> it back around. Do okay. you do you consider Buffalo part of Canada from uh, Matt Carlin's? What? That made me stop crying really fast. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, yeah. I'm done crying now. Can we talk about buffalo flavored like chicken wings and stuff instead? Oh, I love chicken I wings. I love buffalo chicken dip. I'm done crying. Oh, good. Uh, BC Steel says, yes. Mary F. Kill, Morgan, Marcus, and myself. To Jack Ballack. Oh, my God. BC Steel, that's very tough. I missed the question. I was thinking about how I cried on Mary okay. F. and Kill. Okay. Oh man! And who were the options? Marcus Morgan and BC Steel. What's F mean? Like fun? Have fun? Have, have fun. a fun day with? Yeah, I I'm was thinking like a ball pit. No, Mary, have a fun day with and kill. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I would um, like to. I'm what? thinking like a big McDonald's. Ball I I mean um, like I mean like let's pull the curtain back. Sure. Mary, oh, we'll say Mark. Man, it's fine. It, like sure. everyone knows, we're best friends. It's fine. I couldn't marry Marcus. We both talk a lot. You guys talk way but too BC much. But BC talks a lot, too. Oof. And, then and I can't fun. marry Morgan because she'll beat me up. Who do I want to have? Uh, listen, I bet I could have a lot of fun with BC Steel. Yeah. Guaranteed. That guy is fun all the time. Morgan? You know oh, I'll let you finish. No, 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 you I'm just saying. I'm hardcore. I wouldn't have fun with all three of them. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. So... What I if love them all. what if we married all three of them, had fun with all three of them? We don't live in Utah, and we kill them with kindness. Boom, my man. Nailed That's why it. he's the two-time rookie of the year. You can't, you can't shake me. Ask me whatever. I'll come up with something. You're so joyous. Oh, uh, Rob says F means frolic. Uh, I I actually wouldn't mind frolicking with BC Steel. Oh my god, if I could frolic with BC Steel every yeah. night of the week. Yep. Up no offense to Morgan down. and Marcus, but I feel like BC Steel is a professional. He frolic. knows how to frolic. Yeah, yeah. I changed my answer. BC Steel too. So. Yep. What yeah. if Team, Team Storm. Storm got a personal ring announcer? Uh, first of all, we kind of already have Nick Lendl. He does everything yeah. we tell him to do. Okay. Nick Lendl loves Team Storm. Yeah. There's my answer, Nick Lendl. Okay. Love Dave Kitch, but I feel like Dave could put up a fight. Lendl, I feel like he just kind of you know does what we tell him to do. Okay. So. 
we keep them kind of on our payroll. Uh, John wrote it in the chat room. Yeah. Favorite full house member. <laughs> I'm not Jesse. Jackson Argos. I, John Stamos. I, I've had multiple times in the middle of matches where RC has turned to me and said, hey, and I think we're about to strategize. And I say, what? And he looks at me and he says, you look so much like John Stamos. This is this is very, <laughs> very and I'm being accurate. One hundred percent serious. Uh, so, I guess Uncle Jesse's my favorite. There's been times in a match where I get power slammed or something because I was too focused on telling Argos he looks like John Stamos at that particular moment. That's why we had a rough start through our career in IWC. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, we we actually lost at the anniversary uh, event to the Mega Plowers. And I genuinely think it was because RC told me I looked like John Stamos and it broke my focus. But we've learned. Clearly, yeah, we've gotten we've better. Obviously. Look Clearly. At you've gotten over that. Me to say it to break your focus. No, just, not at all. You were just being complimentary. Yeah. I get that. But you live and learn. That's, we did. Lance, so Lance didn't teach us to not tell people they look like John Stamos. No, Lance did tell us to kill people with kindness. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we listened. So. Brought it all full circle right there, folks. Cameraman Rob says uh, RC Dupree is greater than Heidenreich. I don't know why. Ooh. Hide in Heidenreich. Oh. More like Dupree. Dupree. Oh, I, like I don't that. even know. <laughs> sure. I like uh, that. That's a fact. Yeah. Jack Not quite a jackass. I'm just saying, had oh, I gosh. been in the Road Warriors in 2005, it would still be going today. Just saying. That's a fair point. Road Warrior Dupree. Man. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. You you trained with one of the Road Warriors uh, relatives. That's true. Uh, one Rachel Ellering. Thank you for bringing that up, Argus, because I forgot that. It's an interesting fact. Yeah. Tell what us all pleasure. about it, RC. What a pleasure. Yeah. The Team Storm, uh, Landstorm bloodline runs very deep. And she's been killing it, by the way. She the has movies, been. So. She has been, yeah. She's been fighting forevers. So, see? I'm really... You're so punny. I've been good at puns and segues and things of that nature. Wow. We usually have a best and worst question that wraps up the show. And You're Matt kicking us out already. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. Sorry. Oh, oh, we wait haven't a gone minute. for 40 minutes, wait, guys. I, hold on. I've seen people do this before, and it's really interesting. Watch. You turn to the fans, and then you say, Do you want more Team Storm? Oh, wait, there's not well, a They're crowd on the here. internet, so they're not going to. Damn it. It's, it's just that didn't work. Text the, fan, the fans are watching live on yeah. Facebook, and they You're don't gonna, want us to stop. We have multiple dozen fans. That's insane. They want us to mayhem show forever. I'm scroll- Hi, guy outside. I'm scrolling through and seeing if there's any questions you missed sort that I might want to answer. So many. Let's see. Uh, let's well, see. Well, if I can ask my question, it doesn't have to be the last one, but it, it's kind of a goes along with it. I don't want to go home. What is the best um, and worst thing about having so many belts? What is the best and worst Whoa. thing? <sighs> The best thing is uh, turning on my dining room light in the early mornings whenever I have a cup of coffee, a cup of gel, <laughs> and I see my titles yes. on my dining room table along with my eccentric artist uh, little uh, shrine. shrine that I have in myself. You, ha- like, I'm, you have I'm a the, shrine. Uh, uh, Hilda, Hilda Pataki with a Hey Arnold, yeah. if you guys get that reference. Oh, yeah. I know Except it's Arnold. myself. It's not Hey Arnold. Just saying. That's weird. And the worst thing, there's really no worst thing about having two titles. No. No. Uh, the best thing is that I get to send pictures of me with them to RC and Jack. That's one of my favorite I things. I love it. I also, it's it's interesting because I can go visit my family, and when I get done visiting them and I'm bored with hearing them talk, I make them polish them. You know what else is great about these? You can lift them. Oh, that's true. Like, I yeah, do I put them on the side. Since we have two of them, we'll put yes. them. I'll do shrugs and I'll do, you know, bench press and stuff. You know, and, and, I've, I've caught Jack curling his before. Yeah, silly. We have. So We've silly. seen well, it. I'm just oh, it hurt my hand. You'll oh. break, you'll break oh, your man. finger. It hurt this hand right here. Oh, what just happened with that hand? I don't know. I mean, so like crazy. for me personally, I don't have the amount of titles that you get to have. We're going to get you there. We'll get there eventually. Yeah. But I have the biggest championship in all of Pittsburgh right now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You do. And let me tell you, it's tough putting that up on my shoulder every day. I know. I feel bad for you. But if, I, if, can I comment quickly? Please. I've noticed you look bigger since you've been carrying that. 
Thank you. Your muscles are getting bigger because you've been carrying that around. Look at that. Whoa. Look Unbelievable. At that. Hold on. PG it. show. PG show. Put oh, that sorry, away. Sorry, 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 sorry. Get out of here, plumber. God. Ugh. 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 You're even representing Japan, which means you're representing part of me. Oh, this oh. is part du pre. Yeah. And you have Look a vein that. on your bicep, and I have veins, so you're representing me. Yeah. And this is part of Argos. It is. It's, we all we all do. So uh, Tina from out in Seattle says so she's not impressed until you guys come out west. Tina in Seattle? Yes. Tina, get me booked out there. Yeah, get Tina Team Storm booked out there. You want us to come take over the West Coast? We'll do it. I drove through that area when I came back from Calgary. I'll gladly come back. Starbucks yeah. is okay, Tina. It's not that <laughs> great, though. Yeah. Jeez, Tina. Ugh. Classic to you. Yeah. Marcus is asking, Jack, have you started the Scott Steiner workout yet? Oh, my God. Oh, we were just discussing yeah. this. I am doing squats with babes on my shoulder every day of the week, Marcus. Yeah. All right? I'm a freak. This is the freak show. Just get ready. Watch what I'm doing. Right? Um, you have to. He wants you to walk sideways through the doorways. <laughs> that that makes sense. Say. I get that. Block out the pain. Watch your body grow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, Sorg, I have another announcement to make. Okay. Oh, jeez. I know. I told you guys I had so many tonight. Wait, is it about my braided hair that I worked really hard on? Oh, my God. Tur turn all the way around. Show the people your hair. Uh, Zor Sorg, uh, show you them see that. it? Uh, that is look how cool so is that? Nice. You know, I'm in a center garden. You look like so. a Canadian bulldog. I love it. Oh. Thank no, you. but I actually have an announcement. Also, a plug. If I may, if you guys don't mind me stealing the microphone from that. Ah, Sorg. Classic Argus. You know anything going on up this way, like September 16th? September 16th? Like yeah. right across the street here? I don't know. What's going on across the street here? I think there's going to be a wrestling show with the Ultimo Dragon and Mystico. Oh, my yeah, God. The grocery store is open, though. No, so, it's not been in the, there's in the, a, wait, in the parking lot. Yeah, so what's going on? It's uh, Lucha, Lucha, Fiesta Lucha Fiesta Pittsburgh. No, senor. Wouldn't it be crazy if I found out today... That Jackson Argos is competing at Lucha Fiesta. Wouldn't the entire world be excited to know that? Okay. I, yeah. Mi nombre es Jackson Argos. Oh, Yo soy oh, excelente. Oh, oh, oh. Jackson Argos oh. is coming to Lucha Fiesta ah. September 16th. Oh. How? So, yeah. Wait, so. Obviously, yes. training in Land Landstorm. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, up, si, up, up in si, 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 yeah. Tell me about your lucha roots. Oh, I'm going to show you. I don't need to tell you. I'm going to step into that ring, and I'm going to show everybody in the lucha world exactly mm -hmm. what Jackson Argos mm -hmm. can do. Mm -hmm. It's going to be on iPay-Per-View. It's going to be live on the 16th. Every single person that ever doubted that I could switch up my style when needed is going to see that I am just as good as I say I am. I'm going to buy that now. You should. Mm -hmm. You should buy that eye pay per view. I'm going national. I'm going international. I'm going global. Jackson Argos has taken over Lucha Libre. It's going to happen. I'd drop the mic if it wasn't hooked to this thing. So, boom. Busy, super busy month for, you know, busy summer actually. We're rounding out. How cool is it that we are rounding out summer? The last day of summer is the Team Storm Championship Extravaganza Bonanza that's a, Ceremony. That's a big deal. That's a huge... Yeah, that question great, was actually rhetorical because it is amazing. What a great way to end the summer. Mm -hmm. I love us. Fantastic. So much. And you can find out more about that show at LuchaPittsburgh.com, I believe. Yes, I'm so can. proud of you. Thank you. you Thank you. Yeah. See, si, senor. Every day. I can't wait. Me gusta. I have so much. Jackson hate. Argos. Look at that. Team Storm. Oh, we all speak ah. different languages, too. Oh, yeah. uh, wait, wait. Hold on a second. BC Steel says Jackson, Jackson Argos. A mu, Tango Dos Championships. A Mu Caliente de Lucha Libre. La Biblioteca es en la escuela. Yeah, the, ah, I understand. Si, so, yeah, yes. the library is yes. in the school. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. uh, he queso, loves pizza pie at the, at the library. Queso es muy bien. Yeah, wait, cheese what about nacho good. cheese? What? Yeah, wow. hablo España. Very good. Okay, fantastic. You you learned a little bit of Spanish. Doesn't matter. Uh, Marcus is asking if you're going to wear a blue blazer mask. 
I yeah, here's the thing. Mm. I'm gonna wear what I always wear. That's the red and the black. Contrary to popular belief, I oh, look fantastic <laughs> in red oh. and black and white. And that's what I am coming to Pittsburgh, and that's what I'm coming to wear. Hashtag party foul, Marcus man. Yeah. I have to ask you. So you uh, were recently at the Washington Wild things, throwing out the first pitch. We're gonna talk about that. That hey, was, was a strike, if I've ever seen a strike. We're gonna it, talk about. And that. I love baseball. It did make the newspapers. Yes, it did. But mostly the part where you were punching a mascot. Okay, first of all, that mascot had it coming. Okay. Yeah. Second of all... That's a wild thing when you think about it. It really was a wild thing to happen. First of all, I trained all day to throw out a pitch, and it didn't go as planned, and and the stupid, stupid pitcher who was supposed to be coaching me all day didn't do a good job, so that's his fault. Second of all, when I'm running the bases and the stupid wild thing pushes me over, yeah, I'm going to knock it over and slap it on top of the head, and you know what? If the Pittsburgh Post Gazette wants to write about that, more power to them. You know why? Because I'm awesome, and I'd put me in the paper too. So good for them yeah. for making the right call. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. Uh, here's another one from BC Steel. RC, that's you. Can RC ask me questions? Too. Paint, draw, or sculpt a Team Storm piece? I think Michelangelo's David, just three guys with championships. Oh my God, RC! Please, that'd be our next T-shirt. I mean. The, the theme of the night, that goes without saying. You're yeah. such an artist. You are. Thank you. I've seen I'll a try. lot of his artwork. It's it's uh, like eccentric is the best word to describe it. Yes. C, si, senor. C. Si. Yeah. You know what else he's really I'm, good I'm at? I'm blending everything right now. RC is a heck of a coffee artist. You should see the coffee that RC puts together. Really? Does he make like the little flowers and everything? I have or? never seen someone brew up coffee in Team Storm better than RC Dupree. This is true. This is true. As you know, when you think coffee in Team Storm, you think RC Dupree. It blows. I, I will come. I stay the night at RC's quite often. When I wake up in the morning and I see what's waiting there for me, it <laughs> blows my mind. I'm like, what an artist. What an artist. What's your secret? Tell us, RZ. It's a secret, Sorg. I can't tell you. All I know is that, uh, you know, when Jackson Argus comes over or Jack Pollock comes over, I make them a, a exquisite cup of coffee. Mm. Yeah. Um, uh, still, still on the end. I'll teach you, Jack. Still on the Espanol, Bobby F. J-Town says Argos is Spanish for champion. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. I can make an exquisite cup of coffee in you, you guys. I'm crying again. I'm so happy thinking about the coffee. Yeah. It's so good. It's your, it's your coffee's the best. Uh, I mean, they call me Coffee Dupree. They do. That's, RC uh, stands for real coffee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When I met you, when I met true. you, I said, hey, you make coffee? Yeah. And, and I'm an artist, too. <laughs> huh? And then you said, I'm a wrestler as well. Yeah, and I said, of I'm course. Like, sure. Okay, I'm let's, an just, let's just. I'm French. I'm going to tie it all together to just say Team Storm are truly each one of us is a jack of all trades. Yes, say, we do it all. I'm so proud of yes. us for everything. I'm sorry. Bobby of J Town asked for Jack. Would you consider giving Magnum CK a shot at the IWC Championship? Listen, if Magnum CK wants a shot at the IWC World Heavyweight Title, I'm a fighting champion. Magnum CK, I am always willing and ready to fight. Is Magnum CK ready and willing to give me a one-on-one shot for the Remix Riot Championship? That's all we wanted. Like we agreed upon right? back in the day. Huh. Magnum? The cards in your maybe, hands. Uh, maybe title versus title. Ooh, mm. I don't hate that. Can I just point out how interesting it is now that every time you hear Team Storm, the word title is associated yeah, with it? Yeah, am I mm-hmm. right? We're talking title versus title, title match. Everything is... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Man, we just... We went from... If I can quote uh, Joe Dombrowski, because I did have a chance to watch back Cage Fury. Oh, it was he, a good show. He, he said, as we all stood in the ring and hugged each other, he said that we went from the outhouse to the penthouse. And I said, wow. He pointed out that we were fighting for our jobs. He pointed out that we were at the bottom rung of the ladder. And now we went from the outhouse to the penthouse. When you Thank think, you for that, Joe. When you, when you think about it, I wasn't even a member of the IWC roster. No. Until March. Yeah. And fired. now I'm the top guy. Yeah. The champion mm-hmm. of the biggest company in Western Pennsylvania. Jack Fact. 
Right. Thank you, RC. Uh, I'm the I'm the champion of the You're biggest the company in Pittsburgh. You are. I'm the man in Pittsburgh. Thank you, Joe Dombrowski, okay. for saying what we already knew. One Justin wants to know where he can get a piece of RC Dupree art for his music studio. Ooh. Ooh. Get to work. We um, can use some paces in here too, maybe. Hey. The well, Team I mean, Storm merch table is always the open. team. Team Storm, you took the words right out of my mouth. I'm sorry, I I'm haven't sorry. seen the merch table for a while because every time I get close. There's a big line, Sorg. Well, problem. no, I, I get yelled at. You're a line at cutter, Sorg. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 There's a cute. I mean, I take believe a there was. You guys Wait. started a go away Sorg chant at IWC. You know why we did that? Because you wouldn't freaking go away. Yeah. We wouldn't have to start a chant if you just go away when we tell you to go away. When we, want, when we want to talk to you, we'll come to you. That's why we're here. We go on our schedule. You don't just jump in whenever you want, Sorg. Mm -mm -mm. Classic Sorg. Classic Sorg. Typical Sorg just trying to like stick his nose in our business yeah. when he shouldn't be sticking his nose in anyway. our business. Is it Sorg or is it B-U-L-L-Y? Just saying, guys. Right? Just saying. I got it. Wow. Be a star, not a bully, Sorg. Yeah. We're the victims here, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't victim mm. shame us. Well, I am I, we already of, dealt with that. I am sick of victim shaming in 2018. Yeah. Jack Pollock was the victim. Yeah. I'm oh. triggered right now, to be honest. So All right, now. here's one last comment from okay, Eli. One last the one. close up today. Sure. Oh, we're close. He says, Jack, thank you for being the best thing that happened to pro wrestling since pro wrestling happened. Thank Applause. You. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Ellie? Oh, there's two L's. I'm sorry. There are two L's in what that. What a dumb name. Sorry, Ellie. What a very attractive name. I liked Eli better. Guys, thank you so much. Where can people find you online? Oh, jeez. Is he kicking us off? I think he's Facebook kicking us already? off. Facebook we're, already? Apparently, we're signing off. It's because mm. I said bully, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, it's because you called him a bully. Now I got to What a potty mouth. All right. I'll, we'll, we'll start my way and we'll work our way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Instagram and Twitter. At J A X O N A R G O S. Same thing on Facebook. Find me on all those things. Also, www.prowrestlingtees.com slash Jackson Argos. Buy the t shirts. And also, uh, when you're done buying the t shirts at my website, save some cash to come to Proving Ground and buy the brand new Team Storm t shirt. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. can we pull that up one more time? One more time. Could you, show the, could you show the people one last time the what, hottest selling t shirt in t -shirt IWC? Ever. Currently, it's gonna be fantastic. Team Storm, all the gold. Yes, I feel like I put Sorg right on the spot. This is hilarious. Yeah, him like do your job, Sorg. Flying through to make sure yeah. you can find this picture. Bully, you probably oh. will. I said it, guys. Yep. Where is it at, Sorg? You I got it. Nope, I'm not seeing that, it on the oh, picture. Is it? Is it coming up? Nope, nope, nope. It's up. It's on there. Oh, now it is finally. So, so yeah, that's not a social media plug. That's just a buy the T-shirt. Yeah. Again, very limited. So now I'm done talking. I do a lot of that. You guys do your thing. Social media. Where can they find you guys? Uh, you can find me at uh, Jack Pollock on Facebook and Tinder and Bumble. <laughs> Ladies. My man. And at the same time, you can find me uh, at J Paul's Beard. J-P-O-L-L-S Beard. Uh, that's on the Twitter and then, like, Instagram, nah, don't worry about it. I'm just following custom wrestling figures right now. Right. They're well, pretty I'm awesome. I'm on YouTube, too. I forgot about that. Oh, you're on YouTube. I do some YouTube stuff. Yeah, too. I mean, like, I'm on YouTube every now and again. Right. But, like, not that much. No, just tape study. Yeah. Constant yeah. tape study. RC. Uh, before I say that, custom figures. Dude. Dude. Oh. Mad Reaper, am I right? right. Custom Showstopper. That you guys custom Sean O'Hare figure, dog. The thirty people watching us right now, are you following Mad Reaper and Custom Showstopper? I custom have, figs. I have another idea. Wait a minute. I'll, no, I'll say it in a minute. You guys do your thing. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So just follow this. You guys. can find me on Facebook at RC Dupree on Instagram at, at RC Dupree. Actually, if you just search the eccentric artist, I'm the only one doing that. So wait a minute, you have a too. Facebook? Uh, yes, I do. Oh, Come on, you know that. I'm gonna follow you. Yeah. Uh, That's and then so uh, Twitter, <laughs> it's the RC Dupree because, like we touched upon before, 
Mm-hmm. Our CD Pre was taken oh, yeah. by some jabron. Mm, some jabron. And if you go on it, there's an egg. Oh, God. Yeah. One you, of those. You crack him. Yeah, I should. Why, I oughta. Right? Okay. Hey, I got the best idea ever because you said custom it? figures. Okay, follow me on this. I'm going. Okay. We discussed earlier doing the best of Team Storm DVD, right? So, are you on this yet? Did you get that, mate? We'll get it going. Now, hold on. Here's the idea I have. If you're watching still, we still got 30 people watching. I would... I, I, I'll check with RC on this. I don't want to speak for you, but I think I'd be okay with signing over the rights to this. If they come out with, if Sorgatron Media comes out with the best of Team Storm DVD as an added bonus, I think we should add the Jackson Argos and RC Dupree reenactment with custom action figures of Jack Pollock and Justin Plummer on the DVD. 100%. <sighs> that in itself, I think we just sold at least a thousand. It'll be the highest grossing yeah. DVD sales in Sorgatron media history. I, I mean, mean bar I, none. I correct me if I'm wrong, but sure. do we get like over 2,000 views? Yeah. I would say if you put on the 10 best Team Storm matches, you put on all of our interviews in here, a couple side interviews, you know, some highlights yeah, and this yeah, and that, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you threw in the uh, Justin Plummer getting his his plastic butt whooped by the the rubber boot of Jack Pollock. Especially that bag of tax. Oh my mm. goodness. How I, devastating. Why did he grab a bag of tax? Idiot. Sorgatron yeah. Media from the outhouse to the penthouse yes. via one DVD. I know. Can we get that going? Can people on there do the hashtag best of Team Storm? It's going to be a pack. Hashtag Team Storm DVD. Yeah, get it's ready, gonna a, It's going to be a packed DVD. Yeah. Uh, one last question on the t shirt. Will that be available on Pro Wrestling Tees? It will not. That T-shirt is, is going to be exclusive, show exclusive, limited, limited edition. show exclusive. So get to White Oak for that. Get to White Oak. Come to Proving Ground. You have to come see well, us. I mean, like we're not planning on losing the titles anytime soon. No, we're gonna have so, them for like, a while. Yeah, you know, buy the T-shirt while you can. Yes, we are the champions. Yes, my friends. I love when you quote Queen. Thank you. And we'll keep on fighting to the end. <laughs> <laughs> Fat bottom girls. That's a different song. Wait, what? It's still clean. Yeah, but I was helping. Guys, thank you so much for being on the show. Team done? Storm. I think we're done. Playing the gear, gear guitar. Yeah. No yeah. one else. Bringing all the hardware. Open. Good luck Stop to you. Liars. We'll see you guys, of course, at IWC's Proving Grounds. Please, everybody, go check them out at Remix Pro yeah. and everywhere else they pop up. You're going to see us at Premier. IWC Revenge Premiere. Remix. You're going to see me at Lucha Fiesta. You're going to see us everywhere. We're taking over the world. There you go. Thank you so much. Si, senor. And of course, you can look up all these guys over at IndieWrestling.us. Uh, see all the matches from uh, IWC. Some old, I say, Jack Pollock saw some old RWA on there as well. And uh, yeah, yeah, we put, we dug that up. And uh, and uh, so much more. And also, uh, uh, Jack has a good series that's uh, part of the Rise Wrestling uh, as well from earlier in the year um, vying for for the belt over there and that is available all of rise is now available on the indie wrestling network free seven day trial go get in there check out all of uh, jack's matches um with uh the series with the, with matt connard right uh matt connard and lee moriarty and lee moriarty good stuff and lewis the nerd lewis the nerd i want people to watch my matches too those are over at indie wrestling.us see there they are there's also one on youtube me and stupid Gresham. And also R.C. Dupree in okay. that insane ladder match from Clearfield. Why do you only post the matches that we lost? Ugh. I don't po- That's the- Why don't you I post, post the matches that we lost? Sabotage. I will, I will point out something right now. If you see a match on IWC's site, I did not post those. You know who posted that. Oh, uh-huh. the guy who oh. I beat, right? Yep. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Stupid So face. why didn't he post the match when I beat him? Yeah, why is it? Remember when my career was on the line? Sorg, I just sent you a photo. I want you to pull that up on the screen. Oh my god, put it on right now. Yes. Oh, I see. We already have cover art. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I got bored. Wait, you just made that on your phone? I'm awesome. The fans. Wouldn't people buy that? Like, Ah. come on. It's a great stocking stuffer. That's not the final art, but isn't it a great one? You have the, you know, or try the photos at the bottom. Look, that's when Jack beat Justin. Why Paul. is it by Sony Pictures? 
because you haven't agreed to anything yet. Yeah. There's a huge battle not, right now for the rights. If not Sony Pictures and Sorgatron Media, it doesn't matter. If who, Sony doesn't take this deal, we will sign with Sorgatron Media. Yeah, we're ready and willing. Yes. Those are good photos you chose of me, by the way, on this. You look well, so oh, good. Us. Yeah, look up. We all look great. Yeah. I look pretty ripped. Yeah. And I appreciate that. I love the part of on it. Pull it back up real quick, if you don't mind. I love the part where Team Storm's on it. Wait yeah. a minute. Wait yeah. a minute. Un de trois yeah. Look at times. Oh, aren't we on that entirely? Look at that. I even put like, I even look at the summary at the bottom. Ten matches, interviews, exclusive footage, and more. More? <laughs> what could that be? There could be so much. I'm just saying, man. I, I, I like to make good ideas and then, and then make – don't let your dreams be dreams, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I still want to wrestle Buff Bagwell. I'm just throwing that out there. I think that if Buff Bagwell and Scott Norton want to come after our tag titles, we yeah. Why are they afraid of you guys? Why are they afraid of us? Why? Anyway. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Until next time, please support indie wrestling and please support Team Storm. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. I don't care. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.